Welcome back. You're watching the Power Breakfast Show. Now, as you know, every Friday we deal with matters entertainment or culture here on the show. And this morning, like I said when we started the show, we're taking a, a short journey around um, the country. We want to find out more about the Iteso community. So we have a lot lined up. We have to find out how they dress, what they eat, uh, how they say good morning mm -hmm. to each other. Daniel, in fact, how do you say good morning? Very simple. You can say yoga. 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 Yoga means hi or yeah. hello. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can say, you can add something there. Yoga aquenu. Mm. Yoga aquenu. It's like I am thanking you for waking up. Oh, wow. <laughs> you actually thank people yeah, to wake up. Because not always that people can True. sleep and wake up. Yes. Yeah. So True. yoga aquenu. And then how do I respond? Yoga. Yoga noi. Yoga noi. Yoga noi. Yoga. Okay, thank you so much. Oh. Yoga noi. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yoga. So, 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 so yoga. today you have it. Yoga. 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 Yes. Yoga. Uh, yoga. Uh, yoga. Uh, that's okay. very easy. All Kenya can uh, learn that. Yes, of course. Very yoga. Easy. Yoga. Yoga. Okay. So we're with Willis Raburu, mm -hmm. and then of course Daniel and his team, and he'll be introducing us uh, to them in a few minutes. Remember, you can join in the conversation. Double two four double two is the SMS line, or you can get us on Twitter. The hashtag is a pub breakfast. All right. So um, I think the first question, Daniel, is getting to know. Who the Teso are? Where are they from? The Iteso originally, as I said, we have come from Ethiopia. We came along the Nile. Yes. That's why we are called the Nile, the Nilots. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But specifically the Nile Hamites. So our group came from Sudan along the Nile, settled somewhere in uh, Sudan, some of them. Others came and settled in northern Uganda, and they were called the Jie or the Karimojong. And then they, uh, we came and settled in northern north eastern uganda and uh, another group came all the way to tororo and uh, you can find the other group in malaba area busia county okay yeah. and what's mm -hmm. um, the characteristic what's the characteristical feature of uh, the you know the tesla uh, the tesla are known for uh, being communal people communal people you know uh, we we borrow our lifestyle from the things that we like so much uh, the tesla like cows Actually, <laughs> they just believe, and the Karimajong believe that all the cows in the world belong to them, mm -hmm. and they have a right to have them. Mm -hmm. So um, we live like the way the cows live. They live together, they eat together, they move together, they struggle together, and enjoy together. Okay, that is really a very key aspect of the Itaso people. All right. Yeah. yeah. The other thing is that uh, uh, you know we have uh, we have been pastoralists, and we've been living in in the in the in the bush so ah, the point has gone off let's go <laughs> <laughs> and where, 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 where in kenya are you located uh in kenya we are located in malaba especially malaba especially malaba yeah. Yeah. bushia county in general okay a few are in bungoma okay yeah mm -hmm. all right um even mine has gone okay so then <laughs> where, 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 so where does then the the like for example your dressing um is this what we'll find like traditional it is so dressing. And maybe you can yeah. stand and... Uh, uh, one thing before I explain to you yes. my dressing mm -hmm. is that the Iteso people have been evolving over time. Okay. Um, you are looking at an, it, an Iteso who evolved into a modern being mm -hmm. but decided to backtrack, to, to go back. backward. Mm -hmm. As uh, many young men are going in front, I'm going backward. You're going back. Because I have realized that, you know, if I don't have that identity, uh, it, doesn't make so much sense for me to say I am from Kenya, I'm from East Africa. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Mm. They ask you, you're from East Africa, where? What's your name? Uh, okay, how do they greet? And for example, some of my friends don't know how to greet, you know? Mm. So uh, my dressing is um, traditional, but yes. a little bit with a fusion because this is not exactly how our shoes used Someone to be. Someone get that short, guys. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit of fusion, this is a little bit modern, but we like. Shoes yeah. like this, mm. yeah. Some because you walk, long. because you walk a lot. We need this something which has hard sole. Eh? Yes. Mm. Actually, to not to me a tire. We tire. use the tires. Yeah. 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 Like the car. Yeah. You know the car. If any person on the thorn, somehow mm. it can be able to move. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, but uh, basically, we borrow our dressing based on the same things I told you that we like. We lived with cows long time ago, and our culture evolved out of the behaviors of cows, out of the the, the products that we got from the cow. We ate it, we dressed on it, we slept on it, we were buried on it. So uh, if you see me dress, 
Uh, yeah, go ahead, Simon. Yes. Basically, uh, this is two for no, beauty. Okay. Huh? Yes, we, you can use the mic. You oh, have a mic. I have a microphone. Okay. Good. So this is beauty. We love beauty. We live in the nature, and uh, we like to copy all the colors in the nature. Mm -hmm. Green, yellow, blue. Just as you can see me, mm -hmm. I think I have all the colors that exist in yeah. the world. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and um, if you see uh, in my bag, mm -hmm. Uh, this is called emukule. 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 Mm -hmm. This is basically a multi-purpose dress. Okay. Or skirt. Uh, this, I can remove it and put it here. I will use it to lie down mm -hmm. when I get tired of my movement with my cows. Uh, I can uh, use it to dress like this. Actually, there's another one here. Mm -hmm. uh, some young boys they didn't have to have this other one in the back okay mm. this is especially for the older people okay <laughs> but the young boys can just have this to cover that part in front <laughs> yes. <understand>? protective measures <laughs> yes protective you never <laughs> know something <laughs> can happen mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> so and uh, basically a skirt uh, after some time after we moved from this we came to bed sheets okay mm. So we go with the bed sheet because so when you are modernized. Yeah, when we modern when we, when we modernize, we mm -hmm. got bed sheet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the bed sheet is still helpful, just like the hide, because we move for a long distance, and when the rain comes, we want to re maybe sleep there. Or it has become dark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We want to sleep there. We just pick it and use it. You see, I have a bed sheet down, I have a bed sheet up. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are kind of the same as the Maasai because a long time ago we were one people. Mm -hmm. There is just something else. Uh, we yeah. like style. Yeah. I'm going to ask you about oh, your yeah. hair. We love style. Let me ask you something, Daniel. Yes. Is that Daniel being modernized, mm -hmm. or is this something that is part and parcel? No, I want the young people to tell me: Am I being modern by doing this, or I'm actually being Daniel, the etasot? I think some people might think I am being modernized, yes. but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, long time ago, the Africans had a lot of did a lot of art mm -hmm. africans did art on their bodies uh, some of them cut their ears this cutting of the ears that uh, earring you have <laughs> is not from abroad this was existing in africa <laughs> yes before so sometimes. even tattoos are not from abroad even tattoos they are not from abroad yeah mm -hmm. they have the the west has modernized it yes but have you not seen the sudanese with uh, drawings here yes uh, the karimojong cut their ears uh, cut them uh, mouth or nose something like that mm -hmm. So the African people loved art and they expressed themselves a lot in art. Mm -hmm. They drew uh, some of the ideas that they had. Um, for example, in a, they find rocky place and they could do paves. Mm -hmm. Some ideas that they had mm -hmm. on those on those rocks. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I told you, they loved art. And that's what you see in my head. Yes, yes, just just yeah, for, yeah. For, for a minute so that we can get a shot of, of huh? that. Yeah, yeah, that way. Okay. So no, you know the beads at the back is. But now, you know, there's still beauty, you know, beauty, <laughs> the sun, you know, the blood that binds us together. Yes. You know, we are black people, uh -huh. you know, that pride of being black from the source of the Nile. Uh -huh. That's okay. what you're seeing there. So even the yeah. Mohawk meat. Yeah, you see, like, anything. now, <laughs> <laughs> so I am a, a fusion and mix, eh? uh -huh. because, you know, in a talk about Teso, Lakini, Naishi Mambasa Pia. So, some of these, are borrowed also from Mombasa, uh, from Mombasa, uh -huh. but it's still the same idea of beauty. Okay. Yeah. Um, we will we'll continue with this conversation, but yes. you have to play us a song uh, yes. because you are also entertaining us this morning. Yes. Yes. So I like to do that. So, 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 please give us a song, and then we'll talk about your music. Okay. You know, uh, the Tesla beat. Okay. What it characterizes, what it okay. symbolizes, what you talk about, because we can't hear, we don't okay. understand. So, okay. take it away. I do it. Yes. So this song I want to do for you. Uh, which song should I do? <laughs> uh, I've played this instrument already, so I want to. I feel like I want to put it down. Okay. Okay. I'll hold it for you. I'll come back to that. I wanted to sing about AIDS, okay. but I've changed. I want to sing about a problem that many of you know, but maybe some people don't really pay attention mm -hmm. because you know, Sikwizi what to work on. Uh, they have uh, big cars with uh, tint, tinted glass. Right. So w all you can see is inside there in the car, the coolness of the car. But I want to bring you outside the car tonight. All right. That's what I've decided. Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is Adeo Deo, or in Lua you can call it Nyatiti. Nyatiti. But in my language, it's Adeo Deo, or Amagarite. 
Amagarite. Amagarite. Amagarite. Yes, Amagarite. Yes, so you enough. share instruments with? We share instruments, like I told you, at one point all of us were one human race. But as time we went, people began moving from place to place. Yes, others course. called themselves the Luo, others called themselves the Bantu, others like that. But um, the Iteso and the Luo are close because they are all nylots. Okay. Mm. So also music, to some extent, is shared. But uh, every culture interprets its music or instruments differently. Okay. So this song is, uh, is called The Cry of the Children. Mm. Uh, one of the things that um, really are in my heart is the culture of the Iteso, or the African culture at large. Um, uh, I think about uh, um, people um, all, over, all over the world think about East Africa and they realize that actually there's a group called the Iteso, a wonderful group, uh, they have wonderful music. But also, as just um, a normal human being, a good human being I, that I want to be, I want um, people to know that also the children that are living in the street are human beings. All right. Okay. So that's what I'm talking about, the cry of the children. Mm -hmm. I made this song when I was in the street in Mombasa. As you will get to know, that's part of what I do, culture, helping uh, the young children con reconnect with the culture.
about the Riri. It's alright. The Riri. We shall talk about the Riri. The Riri. Maybe you meant to say Riri. Yeah. Okay. The Riri. The Riri. But Daniel, if you know, for someone who's listening to me, your music, then mm. call it what. It's called world music. Yes, it's world music. It's world but that's music. broad, you know. Very broad. It's yeah. a very broad, uh, you know, genre. But then, uh, bring it back home to us and 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 explain to us the, the music that Tesla sang. The sound. What was the sound like? Or what and is the, the sound? Ah, like? uh, the uh, the sound of the Iteso is the pure sound of an African. Uh, the Iteso uh, played music on a, 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 a pentatonic scale. Pentatonic means we played only five notes. Music has eight notes. Normal Western music has eight notes. That's called diatonic scale. But uh, the Itaso omit some of the notes in the music. And uh, the, uh, the music was characterized, also, of course, by the environment. Uh, we live with the birds, and so we sing like the birds. Sing like the birds. Yeah. Um, you say you're like the nylots. Yes, we are the Nilos, not like the Nilos. Oh, we are the Nilos. Sorry, sorry uh, what I was Actually, I would be more proud if I was coming from a country called the Nile Republic. The Nile Republic. I would be more <laughs> proud. Sorry, what I meant to say, um, you say you and uh, the Luo community tend to be a bit, you know, the same. Yeah, we are uh, similar. Yes. A, a similar. Um, they are associated with Rumba, Benga, yes. Ohangla. Mm -hmm. Is that the same for you people? No. Actually, I am disappointed that you are associating the, the Luo with the Rumba. Because Rumba is not from Kenya. It's not. Rumba is from Congo. Yes. And uh, Rumba is a modern beat. It's a modern that is not beat. traditional. Okay. You cannot... The, the name Luo is so big. It's so sacred. You cannot put it together with um, <laughs> a very modern and not very clearly identified sound. Jonah okay. sound uh, as Ohangla uh, or Rumba. <laughs> <laughs> If you okay, want to talk about yeah. the Luo, you need to talk about the Nyatiti. Yes, yes of course. This okay, one. let me yeah. stop uh, okay. there and move back to the Iteso. The Iteso had so many kinds of uh, uh, music that they used to uh, play. And um, uh, it uh, depended on what moment in life. Was somebody born, they will play for them a drum and um, there's a beat that accompanies that kind of drum. Uh, when you become almost of age, you begin like being a, being a teenager, there's a kind of music mm -hmm. that is played. Uh, when you get married, during celebrations, there's special music. And even when we die, there's special music. But in general, let me just mention some of the styles that are there in Teso. Uh, one of the styles is um, Akogo. Now, a very funny thing what I experience in Kenya, mm -hmm. and uh, many times when I'm traveling, to play my music, some people uh, call me traditional. They say I'm playing traditional music. But this akogo is not a traditional instrument actually, because according to the Iteso, this is a modern instrument. Mm -hmm. There was other music, there was other music before this instrument. So this instrument came in around the 1950s, 1920s there, that's when it came to Teso. Mm -hmm. And it was brought by young men who had gone to work somewhere in the plantations or she worked in plantations and they came home with a new sounding instrument but anyway that became a pop that became a popular uh, sound for the young people when they used to go for courtship there used to be something called a kembe so the eaters so the young people they went there and danced and you had to dance well so that they can see your calves they want to dance as best then that could be the potential wife okay right. so that's the kembe but there's also Ajosi. Ajosi is just a dance we used to dance to celebrate the elders, the wise people in the village. There's another one called a Buddha. You know, uh, when there would be problems, uh, or there's war, people could sound uh, Ebilo mm -hmm. or uh, uh, Abole. There's something that I didn't come with it. I played quite a number of them. I came with only three today. So there's something, they, they blew, or it could be like just a, like a horn mm. of a cow, they blow it, and then everybody knows that it is time for war, or it's time to take off. Every sound had uh, meaning. its meaning. Yeah. The music of the Itesa is not just music we are playing. I have to change the two music. Mm -mm. There's mm -hmm. meaning behind the music okay. that we... For every sound. For every sound. Um, right. yeah. Sorry, sorry, uh, yes. Willis, let me yes. just uh, ask you one question. Yes. Uh, Daniel, what's your surname? Okiror. 
Okiro. Actually, I prefer you to call me Daniel Okiro. Or if Okiro. you fail to call me uh, Daniel Okiro, call me Okiro. Question: What yes. does Okiro mean? Okiro, uh, I got it from my grandfather, and uh, you know, uh, they used to name people according to situations. Okay. So when I I researched about my name, I did not really click what they really meant. So, uh, like I told you, I came to the modern. I decided to switch off to the traditional. So I am one of the elders in Teso. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the young youngest elders, elders in Teso, in Teso. Mm -hmm. and I've decided to popularize my name as meaning popular one. The popular okay. one. means popular one. Okay. Okay. In my mother tongue, if you say, "What's your name?" you say, "Ngai Ekone Kiro." Ngai Ngai Ekone Kiro. Who Ekona? Who is your name? Who are you? What's your name? Okay. You, you say, "Ngai Ekone Kiro." So from that word Ekiro name. That's how the, the name Okiro comes. Ah, okay. So, according to me, my name means I'm popular. popular. And m many of you are about to name your children after me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you come back and ask about, because uh, you said you're an elder, so you probably ask about some of the practices and things yes. that people do, especially if somebody wants to take an intestinal lady home um, mm -hmm. in marriage. Uh -huh. um, I want to introduce uh, the young lady sitting here next, next to me, uh, and then there's a whole lot of things going on here. Uh, maybe introduce yourself and uh, your, your role here today. Yeah, sure. Uh, me, I'll be precise. My name is Winnie Oketch. Um, the man, Okiro is manager. Oh, yeah, okay. Okiro is manager. Yes. Okay. Uh, our company is called Pure Aroma Records. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do music production, video production, movies. And we have an initiative. It's called One Hour Mola. We what? Deal one Hour Mola. One Hour Mola. Yes. Uh, we get to children then. Mm. Yes. Oh, so that's what uh, Okiro was talking about. Yeah. Uh, the children and the song that he just did. Yes. Uh, okay. About that. All right. Yeah. Okay. And also we have something coming up. It's called Mudundiko Experience. Mudundiko. Yes. The sounds of Africa mm -hmm. related to this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We'll be talking about that a little bit later on. But I want to go to this. Uh, will you help us to this table? Or ah, Okiro. Okay. Only one. Popular one. Only one. Let the popular one come and do it to you. <laughs> to one up every. And remember, if you have any questions and comments about the Iteso, is it the Iteso culture or the yeah. culture? Yeah, Iteso culture. Um, you can talk to us. The hashtag to use on Twitter is hashtag for breakfast. Um, what are you saying? Okay, what are you saying? When I live oh, in come, Nairobi, uh, come. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> when I am in Nairobi, I really struggle a lot. Yes. Because <laughs> in Nairobi, they call it a modern city. <laughs> so in a modern city, okay, when I'm to come over you. <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> Maybe uh, I don't know. I'll ask about that later. So, but I've, I've seen young people like Winnie, they like chips cook. Yes. Now, Nikienda kwa restaurant, when I pass a chips cook. Kila siku chips cook, chips cook. Na nini nini nini. But uh, pale kwetu, we have a variety of things. You know, do you know that in my village, mm -hmm. people used to live for 100 years and above. Have you ever wondered why the people of long ago, like your grand great great parents, they lived longer than longer us? Longer than us, mm -hmm. yes. Because of the kind of food they ate. Yes. They ate natural food from nature. You know, God has blessed us in a way that uh, there is food that is supposed to keep our bodies really healthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't even have to keep running to the hospital to keep our body running, because some of the food is medicine. Okay, so let's you go into what you guys eat. So, uh, where, where do I start? The us. step of food of the eater so is um, millet. Millet, sorghum, cassava. Now these things, they can be eaten separately and uh, there are different ways. You can get them direct from the garden, uh, cut them and put them in the saucepan, or you can preserve them or transform them into other forms. Mm -hmm. yeah? That can be eaten a year or mm -hmm. years ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with me here right now, I have a few of the variety. Uh, this is ugali. You know, La. when I was growing up, when you talked about ugali, I didn't mean it was ugali, the portion, the portion, the maize meal. Mm -hmm. I meant that, uh, my grandparents meant that ugali is a mixture of uh, a cassava or sorghum, mm -hmm. admit it. So this is just a sample of that. Okay. This is a millet inside, a little bit of cassava inside. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 
and when you mingle it uh, I talk you uh, the white like the way it is mm -hmm. it changes color because of the mixtures um, oh when you cook it when you cook it so when you open it this is how it looks okay oh uh, this is the best that Okiro likes to eat mm -hmm. yeah uh, before I came here <laughs> I was in the village and I was very very happy mm -hmm. this is what I was eating so I had to eat a lot before I come to the city before they give me chips <laughs> <laughs> so this is called okay. atap atap atap, atap. Mm -hmm. when you mix it mix these things together and mix it with water then instead of ugali you bring what's called atap atap this is very nice multi-purpose you can eat it day and night and children even wake up before they go to school and they, they eat, eat it. it and now this one you know I, um, I asked uh, one of my friends uh, to make it for me so that I can just show you but what normally happened is that you can actually eat it when today is cold in the morning mm -hmm. the one in the morning is called alili moit alili moit it means that it's no longer warm it is cold mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know so that's how the name is derived alili moit alili moit okay um on the south side uh we eat edek mm -hmm. edek is a mixture of peas uh, you crush peas or you crush uh, beans and then you make it now there are different ingredients we don't like tomato onion <laughs> oil no 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 we not like natural things um one of the ingredients you can put in edek is called etigo you see this, this is just a certain leaf i don't know how i can call it mm. but this is um it's old they have uh, preserved it okay it's been yeah. preserved it's been preserved but yeah. it's called etigo etigo it's, can it's you see? called etigo which camera let me remove. So okay. it's like dried. It's like uh, it's like uh, kunde. It's kunde, yeah. Like kunde. kunde. But normally yeah. you mix it with kunde. When you touch it, it goes like. Ah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. understand? Yeah. Yes, yes. We are saying one etigo. It's etigo. called etigo. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That is. You can eat it alone. You can mix. So with how long have these ones been dried for? Uh, these have been dried like a month now. A month. Huh? Like a month now. That is direct from the village. Yes. Yeah. And uh, uh, to add on that. There's another ingredient here. This is called abalan. Abalan. This is soda ash. Okay. You so know? this is like the salt of the food. Yeah. Is it is can act as salt. Okay. Yeah. To act before salt actually came. <laughs> this is what we used. <laughs> it is a. Uh, it is uh, like magadi. Just a little more like magadi. Ah, okay. But the purpose is to soften the food when you are cooking hard food, okay. like hard leaves. It is softens the food. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is just uh, leaves. Uh, uh, which are burnt together okay. special leaves not just any leaves mm -hmm. now what you're seeing here is a special delicacy i actually feel like tasting it you can take it i am a moment of truth hmm? don't be afraid how is it <laughs> so hard yeah it's quite hard it's quite but if you can eat popcorn <laughs> <laughs> so popcorn you is not this hard amo keke uko na amo keke it's nice i like it it's hard uh -huh. but i like it because there's some sweetness coming i don't know from uh -huh. where it is sweet now do you know what this is no this is sweet potato it's this oh really oh, okay mm. okay this is sweet potato you know, Ngwashe. you many people. Yeah, yeah that is it. Wow. That is the one. So okay, in that case, I'm going to make me. I'm going to make me cake. I'm going to make me cake. I'm going to make me cake. Okay. 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 And we have always de developed our knowledge, knowledge based on where we are. And uh, when we meet a problem, we devise another means of how to survive. So people used to have these uh, sweet potatoes. Mm. Maybe when um, there's too much rain, it gets spoiled in mm. the garden. Mm. And then shortly after the, uh, things have got spoiled, there is famine coming. Mm -hmm. So we have to think, what can we do mm -hmm. to be able to preserve this mm -hmm. so that it, we can eat it that time when we suspect famine coming. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what you do, you just get those sweet potatoes in the garden. You remove the outer coat. Mm -hmm. There's a way 
you can peel it off, mm -hmm. and then you you do what we call I get, which is I, which is to cut. You just cut it like this. Like so this. you're slicing it. You slice it. You slice it. There is a special way of to do it. You otherwise you can. Yeah, you can slice mm -hmm. it off. Yeah. And then. So you dry it, and then uh, you can put it in the compound. Um, especially in Tesla, so you know we have nice terrain. We have uh, volcanic rocks so you can just take it to the volcanic rocks and put it there so it dries so that up. it can dry up faster okay so basically this is okay, okay. okay the other way that we preserve the sweet potato but that's one way now with me here i have like i told you we eat natural things mm -hmm. it depends on what we have cows feed us cows um close you close us mm -hmm. we murder using cows and a lot of cows by the way <laughs> human like human like this mm. in our uh, old um, tradition, mm -hmm. we should give you one thousand and five hundred cows. Mm. Mm. One thousand five hundred cows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cows one you. Just, yeah. And, and you know what we used to I'm do? I'm going to look for a Tesla bar. Ah, very good. Yeah. They're listening. <laughs> Can you take the listening? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, so this is what happens. Um, they used to bring cows in this compound, and then they bring this strongest man and that strongest man has to go do like javelin you know javelin came from our village <laughs> <laughs> so he could throw a stone mm -hmm. bah! and where that stone lands all those cows belong to the uh, father and the mother wow. of the bride wow. you see that's how generous the eaters are and that's how rich the eaters are except for the socio-economic changes that have happened yes, because of, of colonialism i want to be very straightforward colonialism brought uh, other people who actually disorganized our setup that made us to lose our cows <laughs> and we are always crying oh, no. Sorry. when we think about that anyway mm. another thing that happened is when now the current people took power now there was war so during the war they just ran to Teso and got the, all those cows and gave to their rebels and they ate our cows so now Mm -hmm. What we needed to do was to try to find another way to live. We moved into another. Actually, we originally we're not farmers. We we're basically growing um, mm. animals. This is called ghee. Uh, there are many people. The modern people like cheese. Yes. I don't like cheese, but I like ghee. Ghee is natural. It has butter in it. It has a cheese in it. It has many of those products. This is uh, still pure. Actually, you can still be able to derive. Other, other things, other like things other from cheese this. and whatever. And yes. The so you use this for cooking. Use it, use it as appetizer in your food. Um, now yes. we have something else called simsim. Ah, uh, sim -sim. I don't, don't, I cannot open it. Yeah. Uh, this is simsim. You know simsim? Yes. Yeah, simsim. And that's made into balls. Yeah, uh, in, in, in down in, here. In down. They make it in <laughs> balls. Bo bo in those, into those balls. But there we crush it mm -hmm. and we use it uh, to paste our food. Okay. Mm -hmm. Most of our food is pasted or boiled. We don't like oil mm. because you want to live healthy. I'm and just live wondering, mm. don't you, do you eat meat? Seeing as you're pastoralist, we eat meat. Like I told you, we live on meat, but uh, the way we eat meat is not like the way the city people eat meat. <laughs> the city people eat raw meat. Huh? Yeah, raw meat. Yeah, because the way we we make our raw meat there, meat. Uh. if you smell it, just smell it, akuvuta. Mm -hmm. the, the way the, we put spices there and we put use fire to soften it but when you taste it you know that ah I thank God we made animals they are so nice mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> well, let me ask also before uh, to take you back where because uh, we see a lot of simsim here where, where does simsim come from what, what is what are you crushing so uh -huh. simsim basically um, there are different ways of uh, crushing it we have something called a mortar you just pound it like this mm -hmm. that's one way and uh, there's another thing, just a stone. I told you we come from volcanic areas, so we use the stones to crush it. But now there's modernity, we are, uh, and we're happy about that. So we just have some machines where we can put mm -hmm. the same thing. So just like is, it's a, is it a plant? What is the same thing? What is it? What is it? The same is a flower. It's a, a very flower. Beautiful okay. flower, okay. which is white and purple. Mm -hmm. it's very, very nice. But when that flower goes off, then you get some, um, I don't know how you can call it, some. Pods. Fruits like coming like this, mm. but inside those fruits there are those small seeds. Oh, okay. ah, so same okay. thing is actually seeds. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. So now, if Willie Zabu wanted to get a Tesla girl, yes, uh, I think uh, a Tesla cause if you pay the with the other market is a market. I'm telling you, <laughs> Tesla that I've already got your market here. <laughs> 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 the man is ready. You can uh, contact me, I'll give you the number. We talk directly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 you heard it so. Yeah, it's so. Okay. Yeah. So what's the process? Mm -hmm. okay. He has found a girl. And mm. yes. Uh, and now he wants to marry her. Marry her. Does he have to be? So what you need to lay through the stone. It is not easy, mm -hmm. but it is possible. <laughs> so the first thing is that you have to send a letter. Mm -hmm. Send a letter to the father that you have liked. Now, the, nowadays, by the way, it's not Precambrian like I was talking about. This is a little bit pre-modern. Mm. You send a letter to the parents, and uh, the parents will respond to you if they like you or not. <laughs> so how, how will they like me? What am now I saying? The, the, the way, way you present picture. yourself, mm. the way you will present yourself, the way just you have talked about yourself, mm. they want to know you are from where. Mm. Who is your father? Your father is very important. <laughs> is your father a thief? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Or is your father a chief, uh. a respected man? Mm. Uh, how are um, people, how is that family? If they bring their daughter in that family, how will the daughter be? Mm. Will the daughter be safe? Mm. Are you witches in mm. that place? <laughs> so that is the first thing. Right. Then if they kind of like you, they will ask you, okay, you come on such and such a day and introduce yourself physically. Now they want to see you. Mm -hmm. Are you strong enough like me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that you can be able to protect their daughter in case there's danger. Mm. Mm? Are you handsome? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's just over, a little bit overboard. Now, um, in that uh, process, still, uh, uh, you will put some gifts mm -hmm. in a certain place. Mm -hmm. There is a ceremony, but that ceremony should not excite you so much, <laughs> because you might think you have a wife, but you not, don't yet have a wife. Don't, yeah. You are in the process of courtship. Oh, the okay. process of trying to convince her if you are the right person. Okay. So once you have put those gifts like there, what? What, are the, what the gifts are? You can just put nice gifts, just uh, whatever you feel in your heart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, whatever. whatever you feel in your heart. Okay. Uh, some sometimes people just put a check. Okay. Of certain money. Yes. Or you say actually I give you these goods yes. or something, something you think that they will like. Okay. So uh, the girl has to decide if she likes you, she will pick those gifts from the table. If she doesn't. She not pick those gifts, and if she has not picked it, it means you have lost. <laughs> and uh, I ata icha kula inakoma hapo. Au kuli? Rudi kwenye. Rudi kwenye. Angi angi re ya. The other one has refused. Angi re ya. You are not on a bad in the poor. All right. Angi re ya. Aki kubali sasa. Aki kubali hiyo, but then uh, uh, people will celebrate, and the women will will make noise. They say, "Ek ay kare." Kiru kama yo. So you are making cute people. We are doing this. Hmm. We are doing this. Yeah. We are doing this. Okay. Lele. Sasa. We are going to go to the house. Sasa. We are going to go to the house. Sasa. We are going to go to the house. Sasa. We are going to go to the house. Sasa. We are going to go to the house. Sasa. We are going to go to the house. Sasa. We are going to go to the house. Sasa. We are going to go to then they will decide how many cows you want. Oh, okay. But the old one, like I told you, the stone. they throw the stone. But after the colonialists, you know, we remain with a few cows. So we had to do it like business. We had to be a little bit careful. Otherwise, you, you die you die of hunger because mm -hmm. you depend on those cows to live. Okay. Yeah. So now, once you de decide on the number of cows, so clearly, mm. when I come, or rather, when Willis comes with a <laughs> check and yeah. a gift, yeah. Mm. It is up to me to decide whether I want. You have to decide. He has not done any work. Him, he has. He's not yet gotten a wife. No. He has a long way to go. No. Kazi kwako. Kazi, kazi kwako. Bad. You sign up to know everything. This is the Okay. Yeah. All right then. Well, very interesting to learn about the Tesol uh, culture. It's been very enlightening. Um, and actually, I like someone to talk about the Tesol because, and I'm proud of citizen because actually you have brought this platform. Um, when I move in the streets, there are actually not so many Itaso people. Not because they're not there. There are so many Itaso. I was going to ask you, mm -hmm. you know, are you many people? Among there are so many Itaso. Yeah. So, so many Itaso. Although a majority of them are in Uganda. Okay. But uh, there are also so many Itaso in the West, okay. in Western Kenya. But um, when I move in the street, 
I am, I think, the number one eater, so who moves with confidence the way I am, as you can see. I like myself the way I am. I am eater, so I so am original. So you're going to walk in town like that? With those clothes? Uh, sometimes I don't walk like this in oh. town, otherwise they will gather. Oh, yeah. Also the children today, they will gather. Hey, they will gather. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so okay. I had a point I wanted to say, yeah? Yes. That uh, some of the eaters who are meeting in town are uh, having their legs down, not legs, Head. their face says down, because uh, they have been bullied. Okay. And I want to say this, that from today onward, I don't want to see anybody bullying the eaters of people. Yes, yes. The elder has spoken. Yes, yes uh, the elder has spoken. Yes. So, my eaters, so you have to move in freedom, and know that you are one of the best creatures that have ever been made. Okay. <laughs> All right then, there you have it. Awesome. Yeah. We are coming to the end of the Power Breakfast show <laughs> for this uh, Friday morning. It's been very educative. I've learned a lot and entertaining as well. Mm. Uh, and we want to say thank you to you for coming and blessing us with beautiful sounds mm. as well as food and you know information teaching us about the test of people. We are yeah. really grateful to you and your teammates and uh, we'll invite you again the next time you're in Nairobi. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so now before we go you know you have to introduce to us your, your, mind. Mind. your mates. Okay. Ah, so I came with part of the band. Uh, like I told you, the band can be two people, the band can be ten people. Yes. Uh, but on this side, I wish there is music. I like introducing them with music, but there is no music. Uh. This is, you say your name yourself. He doesn't have a mic though. Oh, Moise. Oh, you can come Moise. up here. Come. Okay, he is Moise. Okay. Uh, he is honest. Honest. <laughs> he is Steve. Omobuto. This guy, I picked him uh, a few days ago. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not just acclimatizing myself with him, so forgive me for that. Okay. Yeah. All right, awesome. then. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us here on the Power Breakfast Show. We hope that you've been informed, educated, and entertained. On behalf of everyone who makes this show success, my name is Kerry Ongaro, wishing you a beautiful weekend. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to smile. Keep warm. It's a weekend. Be responsible. All right, let's exactly be responsible. And <laughs> <laughs> for all the Tesla ladies. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what's your job? All right, thank you guys. An application yourself. <laughs> right. I need to write the letter. I need to write the letter. But you where do you been hmm? given back up? Yeah. 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 I have yeah. 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 You see the way through. Hi -ya. Hi. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Ulysses Abu, reminding you, as always, that successful people look like you, and of course, the great Manchester United. So, will you play for us? <laughs> yeah, if you want, I can play for please you. Do. Yes, please do. Take us to the top of the hour, whatever okay. song. Whatever right. song pleases please your heart. It. All right. It's okay. I'm going to do a song called Big Bang. You know, the eaters of people also went to school. Uzinione na is hide or kifikiria cinema degree. Ziko. Aya, na picha unazo. Hey. Aya. Lakini hizo tu ni kuerevika, erevuka. Eh. Yeah. To become wise. Aya. To live a better life. Okay. So, I learned something in school. My teacher told me that the world came like that. I was wondering, how did the eaters of people come? Uh, then I said, no. According to my teacher, that it was the Big Bang. Not that song. We do Big Bang. How did the Lua people come? They say that they came from the Big Bang. So let's talk about the Big Bang.